in this video we are going to discuss about OLTP now before we start uh, discussing about OLTP there's something that I want to touch upon so I'll just switch quickly okay so something that we didn't discuss in the last video was what is the difference so there's a very popular question what is the difference between these three so the first is data leak the second is data warehouse and the third is data mart okay so there's a very popular discussion going around this three so what is data leak what is data warehouse and what is data mart and how these three are different okay so let's start with the data uh, lake first okay the birth of data lake came into picture with the evolution with big data okay as big data rose into picture and became big the data lake concept came into picture so first of all what is data lake so consider data lake is as a big lake or an ocean you can say okay there are multiple datas which is getting in, ingested into the data lake so it, it can be unstructured it can be semi structured or it can be structured so any type of data can majorly all these three types of data can be ingested into a data lake okay now what is unstructured data so basically you can talk about the binary files right jpeg you can talk about pdf you can talk about uh, uh, sound files right all all of those data are unstructured semi structured data are something which are in structure but semi like you can talk about html data right uh, some of the log files are in semi structured data and certain what is structured data structured data is the relational data right what we talk about csv files okay those are structured data you can talk about tables data tables getting loaded in form of parquet and other file format so those are getting loaded into data lake so this is actually a huge uh, you can say a, a portion where multiple data get ingested so that is data lake okay now what is data warehouse so we already in the last uh, section of the video right we already discussed what is data warehouse so data warehouse is you can say a, a, a central repository where we are basically getting structured data okay and in certain cases it can be semi structured but we do not ingest unstructured data in data warehouse okay that is confirmed now in certain cases we uh, ingest semi structure but that is also not necessary but structured data consists of around 99% of the data in a data warehouse okay now what what happens is whatever data is ingested into data warehouse that conforms to a format right it is cleans data cleans means it is aligned properly aligned data it is also analyzed as per business requirement so what data is required whatever is required that is only ingested into data warehouse okay so this is basically a cleanse data so you can understand it like this so whenever a data we generally use data lake to keep the data store the data okay now if you want to design an analytical report you will clean the data and move it into data warehouse okay now on data warehouse you can design your analytical reports okay so this is the difference this is the major difference between data lake and data warehouse so you can say data lake is very big data warehouse is a confirmed portion of a data lake where the required data is only ingested into data warehouse and that too also cleaned and refined okay whatever is required only that data okay now the third portion is what is data mart so data mart you can say is a subset it is basically a subset of data warehouse so it is basically a subject oriented uh, okay yeah so data mart is basically a you can say a subject oriented now what is subject oriented subject oriented means uh, it is defined to a particular subject so you can have a sales data mart you can have a promotion data mart you can have a suppose we are dealing with workforce management so you can have a workforce management data mart you can have a absence and accrual data mart so this absence and accrual so this all are related to hr you can say this all are related to retail so 
this is a subject oriented right and a data warehouse will have all this data ingested and this is also uh, structured data so this is a portion of uh, uh, data warehouse which is divided into multiple segments right like this so these are data marts and this whole thing can be a data warehouse so a data warehouse would have multiple data mart is basically a subset of data warehouse it can have multiple data marts those are basically subject oriented so that this is the basic difference between this three and this is very important to know because most of the interview questions come to this uh, nowadays they definitely ask you this question what is the difference between data lake data warehouse and a data mart you must know this it's a transactional system so what are the attributes of a transactional system okay the transactional system basically uh, have uh, recent data you can say recent data those are online data okay a transactional system has a huge read write operations happening not only read also write operations so i'll give you an example just let's discuss this beforehand so the response time for a transactional system is in milliseconds okay now it requires less maintenance less maintenance in comparison okay not uh, and it is more normalized now what is normalized we know from uh, dbms right so there are normal forms uh, 1nf 2nf and we move uh, we move towards like bcnf correct so we try to make uh, 3nf 4nf we try to make so this is all because of the consistency and atomicity uh, those are which we discuss right and sometimes online transactional processing also supports no sql databases okay these are the few uh, points that you need to remember for a oltp system so what is a oltp system so consider you are on a uh, e-commerce platform for example you are uh, doing an order on amazon okay when you place a order what happens in the background so basically your order is getting placed so what is happening is your order is getting inserted into a db table okay it can be any table for example let's consider it is mysql okay now the table is getting the data is getting inserted so it's not necessary your whole order information for example your order number your customer name customer number customer address billing address all will get inserted in the same table so what happens is there are multiple tables designed as per the data model of amazon okay one can be the order table one can be the customer info one can be the billing info one can be the shipping address one can be the warehouse info one can be the order tracking processing so there are a lot of tables okay so this make a huge complex system as per data modeling all these are connected to each other with foreign key uh, uh, foreign key primary key relationship okay so there is something called erv no right entity relationship model so this are basically designed in the background so this is a oltp system altogether okay so what happens this is a complex system okay so whenever you place a order all the information gets inserted into this all this uh, uh, tables okay one by one so the data is distributed now suppose you want to get a information about a order what you have to do you have to join this whole sort of complex tables together and you have to get the order data right so this is what happens in a oltp system okay so why do we need so basically at, at the same amount of time millions of orders uh, suppose 1 million of order is getting written into the table 1 million of orders are getting retrieved at the same time a huge amount of read write operations is happening right and a recent online now since there is huge load they cannot store right all the order information in the same table right so they cannot store like 2 years 3 years of data in the same order table okay what they have to do is they have to clean it up like they they can keep six months of data rest after any any data which is later than six months would be archived into a different table okay so this is what is happening now why because consider a million records getting ingested every one minute or two minutes for example now one minute or two minute every one million records and orders are placed right so it might be like huge volume of data now to read the data in the real time it might take some time right to challenge so in order to maintain this they clean up they do some clean up activities and all now this is the recent data so we basically have like less uh, volume so not less volume less time frame of data so we might have we can have six months or one year or two years of data 
not the whole historical data will be stored in a transactional system so that is one thing now second is uh, read write operations so what happens is basically at the same time 1 million reads so uh, someone is inquiring about their order someone is writing the order someone is inquiring the order so same time read and write operations are happening on the system now again the response should be in milliseconds so uh, once you suppose you want to get the status of your order when you click on the system it basically gives you an output within few seconds or uh, within a few seconds right now if if you have to wait for an order suppose for an hour will you like it no right so the response basically comes into milliseconds again less maintenance when we say less maintenance we'll explain this why this is less maintenance this is basically less maintenance in comparison to analytical systems right more normalized when we say more normalized because you can see right one order process can be uh, uh, broken down into multiple tables so it can be like in 3nf or bcnf or a mix of 3nf or bcnf okay so it can be more normalized and now about no sql database so nowadays uh, majorly for transactional systems majorly uh, for faster operations right uh, they can use NoSQL DBs. When we say about NoSQL DBs, you might be knowing MongoDB. And there are multiple DynamoDB. Amazon has a DynamoDB. Uh, you have systems, right? Uh, so uh, DynamoDB uh, and uh, Cosmos DB from Azure. So you have multiple databases. Th those are NoSQLs, right? The Firebase is one from Google. So these are NoSQL. So basically transaction systems can also be in NoSQL database. So that is one of the thing that has changed recently in few years. So this is what is a OLTP system. Now we'll look into the analytical system in the next video.